What I don't necessarily want to do is go over some of the things that have already come up in um, Peter's presentation and also Jonathan's. So I maybe just want to take you back a step um, all the time because OCR is responsible for the development and delivery of things like GCSEs, A-levels and vocational qualifications. Whenever I'm sat with organisations like yourself, I feel like the traffic warden in the room. As in, well, why can't people communicate when they come to us? Why can't they solve basic problems? They do all these qualifications at school, but they can't come out with the basic skills needed for them to survive within our organisations. So I want to tell you a bit about a story of um, a girl that I've had the privilege of meeting recently. Her name's Ella. Ella made a decision, or her parents made a decision for her, for her to go to an engineering academy. So everything she learns is in the context of engineering. Now her parents decided she would go there because they own a farm and she's the only child and the father's getting a little older so they want somebody who can repair the tractors on their farm in the future and she was always deemed as not very bright. So that seemed the right pathway for her. The engineering academy she goes to is actually supported by a number of large employers. The whole context of they, the way they learn is actually built by real life challenges provided by those business partners. So whether they're learning their English, maths, language or humanity subject, that's all delivered within the context of that engineering challenge that's set by a real business partner. I was at a prize giving with Ella who actually was getting the prize for the most um, improved learner. She's now on target to get A star for maths and a B for English. And she's not going to work on the farm. Her aspirations now are to actually go on to university and do biomedical engineering. So I think it proves that by having businesses involved right from the outset in a school environment, we can ensure they have the right learning experience, learners can become engaged, and from my organisation's point of view, we can then ensure that the qualifications have the right skills, knowledge and understanding embedded in them, built from business. And we can actually build a curriculum that actually promotes the right behaviours and attitudes and I think by working together all the people in this room collectively and the people here can make that happen and I think that would be my only plea um, for getting you involved really and I think that's my five minutes and my champagne coming out in my passion. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. Carla.